I'm Marco Ritano, head sommelier at uh, La Pergola restaurant in uh, Rome, at the Cavalieri Roof Garden. We are visiting uh, the wine cellar of the restaurant and I'm uh, very glad to show you a part of our wine cellar. So please uh, follow me. So we have uh, eight rooms in the wine cellar and uh, any rooms uh, all the specific wines uh, like uh, Italian wines, uh, international wines, uh, many French wines obviously as well and uh, we have a huge collection also of uh, big uh, bottles and this room is focused on big bottles for example like uh, Magnum You have a lot of uh, 3 liters bottles uh, and the old wines from Piedmont for example, uh, the Gaia Barbaresco and also the Aldo Conterno Barolo but on the right side also show some uh, French wines, some uh, French magnums uh, talking about Bordeaux and Burgundy again in Italy with some uh, Solaya and Ornellaia most popular then we have some Petrusi uh, some wines from uh, from Anne Conti obviously and Rijaye this is uh, another room to show a little bit the most famous uh, Italian wines and show our label and for example we have the Sassicaia here like the good vintages here Everybody knows the 1985 Sassicaia was probably the best vintage for this wine and it became very difficult now to find this vintage on the market. But also close to the Sassicaia we can find some uh, international like uh, Petrus, some French wines, some Bordeaux. You can see here yeah, just to show a few vintages of the wine. We got back to Italy, then uh, on the right hand side you can see the, the popular Masseto. We have Masseto in several vintages, like uh, the first vintage, the 1987. And then some uh, also, again, old Bordeaux. And we buy all bottles uh, every single month uh, in uh, looking for this bottle in private so uh, special uh, international dealer but we make sure the condition of the bottle has to be good here to show also some old Bordeaux And I want to show you also something very, very special. Uh, and this way, these bottles here are uh, all bottles. They were produced uh, just a uh, hundred of these. This is a Gran Bussia Reserve Barolo from uh, Poderi Aldo Conterno, 1974. And it's a uh, whole size of the bottle. You can see down here is 3 liters 78 it was a very particular traditional size for this area for the Barolos that most of the people is not producing this size anymore and the one is very good still drink very very well huh? 74 was a good good vintage for Barolo and uh, now I think it start to drink but you can uh, also age for other 30 years, uh, at least. We can visit uh, a third room in the first area of the wine cellar. It is uh, a down room we created, as you can see. So this room is uh, all the part of the old vintages, part of the old bottles. And uh, all the wine cellar is uh, electronically, electronically controlled for the talking about the temperature and it's 18 degrees and we use a special stone for the wine cellar this stone came from Lecce from south of Italy 
it's a very good stone toward the humidity of the room we can go down please Here we have uh, old vintage bottles. Uh, Bordeaux, you have a line here for the Chateau Lafitte Shield, and you have a line for the Margot, and Cheval Blanc is there. So we collect uh, very much vintage up down to the 18th century. So very old wines are 1888 Code de Sturnello, 1900 uh, Chateau Lafitte. And I want to show you also some good Italian. And uh, we have a collection of the Gaia wines coming from the winery, and those bottles are in several vintages, especially in the 80s, uh, in the 70s. This, this is a culture, it is a story for the Italian wines. We decided to make this room more traditional, so using the stone, the typical stone. But again, it's very important the temperature and the humidity we preserve. We have around 65% humidity, that is very good for the cork. Doesn't make wet uh, the label, but it's very good for, for maintaining the cork. And I also want to show you some uh, old Italian jewels. And uh, we do have a collection of uh, very old Barolo Monfortino. It's actually my favorite Italian wines, but I'm not the only one loving this wine. This is a 52. We do have a 55 and 58 as well. And the wines are amazing, uh, very well collected and coming from a private cellar. So, we've been visit just the 30% of the wine cellar so I look forward to see you soon at La Pergola and show you the rest of the wine cellar thank you